channel. So today's video is going to be another fall video and it's an October plan with me. Now I am still getting used to using my bullet journal every single day and one thing I found was that I needed to simplify it just a little bit more for me, especially because I'm still a beginner and I find that October, November, December are probably the most fun and playful months to create designs with. So this month I took Halloween and tried to create something fun and playful but practical and simple for my bullet journal to use so I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what I did so of course you can't forget the cover page and for the cover page I just wrote out October and I did a haunted house along with some ghosts some bats pumpkins gravestones the moon but I just stuck with the haunted house theme I actually looked on Pinterest and it showed me step by step how to draw it because I'm not a very great artist by any means and I really just wanted to create a cute little haunted house so if you just go on Pinterest and do um, haunted house step by step you'll find how to draw it and you can also see me drawing it out right here and uh, yeah so I figured that would just be kind of like a fun little uh, title page for you to see every single time you open up your bullet journal in October overview. So I went ahead and I drew out the month with the days and the dates just so I could see exactly what date fell on what day of the week so that I could always just refer right back to it and I also kind of gave it its own section by putting the little borders around it and it kind of just made it its own little little thing, you know, own little half the page. And then on the very bottom, I decided to do instead of little bullet points to do acorn, acorns, <laughs> candy corns. <laughs> I decided to do candy corns as the bullets uh, just to add a little bit more fun and I kept it at five. I didn't want to overwhelm myself with more than five goals for the month just because I find that I put too much pressure on myself and that I end up not doing anything uh, that I wanted to do. So just keeping it to a minimal amount of goals for me to reach keeps it at a maintainable level to where I don't get so upset with myself and I still feel like I accomplished what I need to accomplish. On the uh, other side of the goals are the important dates of the month. So this can be birthdays, um, holidays, uh, when bills are due. I mean, these are just kind of the days that you need to highlight the most. On the next page, I really wanted to make it super fun, <laughs> is a uh, fall bucket list. And this is actually the very first one I've ever created. a couple 
little Halloween slash fall doodles around it just to kind of make it fun. So anytime I wanted to go fill it out and add something to it, I'd be like, oh my gosh, it just kind of keeps you in the spirit. to my bucket list but I also added a lot of squares just so I could keep adding to it so anytime I thought about something that I want to do I can just go write it down or and I can go ahead and check it off once I do it. The very last spread that I'm going to show you is the uh, weekly spread. So on the very top left page I wrote out the month and I highlighted the week that this page is for so that I could see exactly what part of October I was in. And uh, on the left, again, I did uh, pumpkins instead of just bullet points for my weekly goals. I really, really wanted to keep it where it was just, again, not too many goals that overwhelm myself. And these goals are gonna be based on the monthly goals. Instead of creating um, like a page for each day, which you could definitely do, but honestly, I just find that I was wasting too much of my uh, page and I wasn't filling out every single thing I had on there. So I just made like each, uh, I just put all the days on here and gave them each a certain amount of squares just so that I could write down like uh, things I wanted I needed to do that day like if I need to make a to-do list and it also keeps me from making too many things like instead of creating a whole like to-do list that's a whole page long it keeps me where I can only do it in a certain little space and then I put like a little doodle next to the day of the week just to make it cute and on the very bottom I find that habit trackers can be very, very overwhelming. And to be completely honest, I'm not very diligent when filling it out. So to kind of ease myself into eventually getting to that point, I created a smaller habit tracker on the very bottom of my daily, or I'm sorry, my weekly spread. And for this one, I only did four goals. Again, I don't want to overwhelm myself. I'm trying to ease myself into using habit trackers to discipline myself a little bit more. <laughs> uh, so all I did was uh, I wrote to drink water, to read, to move and exercise, and then to learn one new thing every single day. simple October um, bullet journal spread. I wanted to keep it very simple and minimal again. You could definitely expand this and create your own habit tracker. You could do a mood tracker. Uh, you could even do a bill spread. You could do a whole page for a daily spread if you wanted to. I just honestly found that this is probably the best way that's going to work for me to where I'm not so pressured to do so much in one day. Just make it how you want to make it. The whole point of this is not for you to go copy this directly. It's to inspire you. Maybe you can pull something from this that uh, you like and incorporate it in your bullet journal. I know for one thing I did was I scrolled through Pinterest for a good probably two hours looking at everyone else's October bullet journals just because I really wanted to make mine fun and I wanted to have fun with it. Alright guys, so I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video today. I really had so much fun creating it and so much fun uh, doing my bullet journal. And if you try any of these spreads out or if you have any inspiration from this video, please let me know. I would love to hear. And if you uh, have any other fall video ideas, please um, leave them in the comments or message me on Instagram. I respond to all of my comments and my messages because everything that you guys have to say means the absolute world to me and I want to take your criticism and any comments that you have about my videos or anything that you want to see, I want to hear. 
And also, if you want to see how I decorated uh, this background and where everything's from, go check out my last fall video. It's uh, a decorate with me, and Cooper and I went and found a bunch of deals and decorated our entire room to where it's super cozy for this fall. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified anytime I post a video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does support my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>